Creativity is an addiction. We run to it. We got to have it. We want to do great things with it. And more importantly, we want to take it from other people to make our own personal lives better, right? Creativity. We are addicted to it no matter what shape it is. Unplugged because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I write in a forest. I go there to listen. What started at the Billy Graham Library right here in Charlotte, North Carolina has evolved into a lifelong journey. Something is always moving through each and every one of us. It's our calling. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest. Chapter number 311, May 1st, 2022. Feeling the slight chill of a spring breeze, the way it touches you, the way we embrace it. It's almost as if the trees, the slow-paced stream, wild grasses, and all other keepers of this forest are communicating. And it's through this slightly chilled spring breeze that messages are not only being sent, but received. A single tree in someone's front yard can be the melody needed to reach a level of inner peace. Less than a mile from this forest in South Charlotte, a very large oak has fallen to the soil. It's been laying in the person's front yard for nearly two weeks. It looks like an eyesore to many, but spiritually speaking, we know it's feeding other things nearest the ground. It's a continuation. The human wasn't here when the tree was just a seedling. Just up the street is another fallen tree. It's all cut up, but not taken away. Again, the community sees it as a black eye. And yet, if you look even closer, there's plenty of new life growing around it. As humans, are we in the way? I'm pretty sure God's other creations aren't so judgmental. I like a fallen tree because inside the spiritual journey, you know that there are little bugs. There are little things that other animals come up to and they grab it and they store it inside their own body for energy. A fallen tree is just laying there because I have to ask you as a human being, could you stand up for 40 years? What about 25 years? Maybe two years? These trees have been standing here for I don't know how long. And so when they fall, I see them as you finally get to rest. Nature at its very best is when it's untouched, where you stumble across something without judgment and you look into the true story of what is going on. Now, as kids, we would count the rings of a fallen tree that has been chopped down by the human. And and that was fun while it lasted. But what about the tree that was blown down or the tree that gave so much of its life to provide shade for the human being that it finally said, I need to rest. And in those moments of rest, it's giving itself to the soil for all animals. The rabbits can hide underneath it. The snakes can cuddle up to it as well. And the turtles, just another place to lean. I'm Errol. These are not my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest.